Mr. Walter Ruiz. Good evening. Give me a second, please. No problem, no problem, no problem. Sure. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. How are you? Um, fine. How was your day, mister? Uh, a busy, no, it's not busy. Interesting day. day. A, an interesting day? How come? Uh, my own company, co-owner, right? A worker? Yeah. The workers, the workers, the workers. Uh, mm, mm. I had I had a new co-workers in my department. Oh really? Uh, one or more than one? One, one. co-worker, singular co-worker. The workers, the worker. Yes. The workers is a two co-worker, right? It's a new, mm -hmm. but it's not new really. If it's la trajeron de otro departamento. Okay. Oh, it's a lady. What? It's a lady. Yes. Okay. But change of department. They brought her. They brought her from another department. Yes. It's a friend, but stay together now. Okay, that's cool. Yes, it's funny. Okay. Yeah. All, all today I listen in Perreo Intenso. And you. For real? Yeah, you're what? <laughs> but it's very funny. Uh, I don't know I mean, if I could stand one day listening to just that. No sé si usually is very quiet really yes and today is both much with me or oh, it's many many or much many many with me okay yeah but, oh no a lot a lot with me a lot with me yes yeah but one day listening to that man that would drive me nuts but all today is very intense in you. What? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. My ad of music is very crazy, actually. <laughs> but no, nowhere. It's very crazy, nowhere. Okay, well. Yeah, all, all my music is a rock and anime music. Or oh. Oh, symphonic music. Oh, that's but, cool. I love symphonic. Yeah. But, so you like epica? Yeah. Mm, no, symphonic music is uh, Beethoven. Oh, Beethoven. Oh, Beethoven. Valdi. I'm crazy. I like Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. Yes. The concert for cello is beautiful. Hmm. I prefer to, I don't remember who is Che Cavalgata Las Valkyrias. Oh, that's uh, Wagner. Yeah. That's Wagner. Yeah. And I lost all my music because I chain of up. Really? Yeah. Right now, before the class, 
I was listening to this. I don't know if you can hear it. What? Can you listen to this? Ooh. Opera. This is opera. That's Carmen. That's Carmen Habanera. I just yeah. love it. it. For me, it's relaxing. Mm -hmm. The last for me, uh, no, we don't know. It's in that. It's very strange. Anteriormente usaba Spotify. I know Kelly is this, sir, but I lost all my music, all the playlists. Well, I've been trying to get mine back, but man, it's just too much music. I mean, the world of music is huge. And depending on some years, I've been more into one type of music, another type. But there are still some, like, like this one I was just listening, that's my favorite. They hate it here at home because when I listen to it, I got it in my mind all day long. But my old co-worker hates music. You know, but that I happens. Don't. That happens. Don't oh, worry. Yeah. Well, nice talking to you, Mr. Ruiz. Okay, teacher. Let's see. Vladimir, what about you? Do you like classical music? Yes, I do. What do you like to listen to? Uh, well, I hear the... 133 Radio Classica. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The, that's the, cool. I hear good concerts in that radio. That's nice. Yeah. You can get, I mean, there the good thing is that you can listen to the whole concert. Ah, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, but Radio Classica is good. It's Very good. good. Yeah. And, and like me to the hair sister radio. Um, Radio El Mundo. Oh, yeah, that's a good one also. Yes, I prefer both of them. Soft music. Yes, soft music. That's nice, yeah. Well, How about you? Do well, you like classical music too? Yeah, I love classical music. As I was talking to Walter, Walter, he likes, uh, he likes Beethoven, he says, Vivaldi. In my case, I like Bach. I like oh. Wagner, I like Bisset. Those are like my favorites in classical music. Beethoven, mm, I like him. I like him. But the problem is that some of the ones that I like from him are not like well known because if we are talking about Beethoven, I like the Sonata Kreutzer. Mm. It's a good one. It's a very good one from Beethoven. And also, uh, let me see. I don't remember if it was... Tolstoy or Chekhov, one of them two, uno de ellos dos, wrote a book titled La Sonata Kreutzer. When my wife was pregnant from my second, from my son, yes, uh, I conseguí, how do you say conseguí? I got. I got a baby Mozart. I don't know, I don't remember the name of the city. Oh. And she listens and puts uh, headphones on her stomach. That's cool. And my son is crazy. <laughs> he likes that, that kind of music too. Yeah, Mozart is beautiful. He was the prodigious kid, a little prodigio. Someone told me that that helps, helps me for grow, grow up in, in the stomach. Uh, teacher, wait me a second. Somebody yeah, no problem. No problem. Second. No problem. Let's see, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi, teacher. How are you? Mm, no good. No good. Why not? I had a strange day. How come? Mm. I got some news that is for me. Mm. Uh, 
bueno, buenas noticias para mí. I didn't feel, ¿cómo sería? Fidger, Fidger. Um, feel the shock. <laughs> Inclusive right. me dolió la cabeza. And they were good news? Yeah. Good news got you shocked and even a headache. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we will try to give you just bad news then, Karen. Maybe I tell you la otra semana. Okay, no problem, no problem. No es algo todavía oficial. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good news, shocking. Mm, weird. You got me thinking now. That's not good. I'm an anxious person. I'm curious by nature. Soy curioso por naturaleza. Don't do that to me. That's cruel. <laughs> That's cruel. Well, and tell me, what about the rest of the day? What did you do today in your job? Mm, really? It's strange. Okay. What about uh, the at home? Tell me, what time did you get home today? Mm, he said, been 6.30 o'clock. 6.30? Sí. Okay. okay, listen, listen to me, Karen. We say o'clock when it's like 8 o'clock. 8 en punto. 7 o'clock. Okay. 6 o'clock. Okay? But if okay. it's got like minutes, it's 8.30, 8.20, okay? So you got 6.30. Did you have dinner already? I came to sleep. Okay, you got having went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Cool, excellent. Quizás so me levanté hace como 15 minutos. So you are well rested. Ha descansado. No. <laughs> oh, come on. You just... If you, if, you just fue put, por la noticia que me dieron ahora que me ha distorsionado todo el día. You just took a nap. Look, took a nap. Okay. Tomar una siesta. Ah, okay. Taking a nap usually helps. Well, don't worry. Today you are going to get distracted in the class. We have many things to do. Okay? Many, many things to do. Let's see who else is around. Hugo, hello, Hugo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, tired, but well, thanks to God. Okay. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Okay. That's cool. So tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, money calls. Calls? Calls? Calls. Money calls. Okay. So you were taking calls or making calls? Taking or making calls? Making. Making calls. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that's stressful. Stressful. Yeah, that is stressful. I can understand you. I, yeah. I hate being in the phone. And today for me, it's the same. It was a long day because of that. I have to go out. I have to be working here. And I mean, I just, I have just rested like 30 minutes. Solo descansado como 30 minutos. And then here and then uh, I will continue. And tomorrow morning, uh, I am preparing something on the computer. So ugh, terrible. I understand you. But tell me, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. How are Fridays for you, Hugo? In your company? Um, are they difficult um, or easy? Difficult. Tomorrow, difficult. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, report and coordinator. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Rescates. Asistencias. Rescues? Rescues? Yeah. Rescues, Rescues trucks. Oh, really? Yes. So it's heavy. Yes, tomorrow. Okay, well. Uh, excepciones, no todo, ¿verdad? Yeah. No todos los viernes son así. Well, 
We'll see, we'll see. Don't worry. As I told Karen, we are going to get distracted here. Let's see. Thank you very much, Hugo. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Sonia Mabel Lasso. Hello, Sonia. Hello, Fisher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, good evening. I'm fine. How was your day? Oh, there you are. A good day. A good day. Cool. She goes like, good day. <laughs> Tell me, what did you do? Um, I, follow, I follow up emails. Okay. And how do you say? Que um, estuve checando detalles para la formación de una nueva red de servicios. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. You are telling me that you were uh, checking details? O sea, todos los pormenores, cómo va a ser el contrato, la forma de pago, a quiénes iba a visitar. You were checking the oh. details for a new web of services. El, la nueva red. Ok, hold on, hold on. Like this. Checking details for a new web of services. No, es una red de proveedores. Oh, ok. Ajá, es una... Checking details for una... the... Then it's for the providers. ¿Qué sería? Providers. Providers. So, it was interesting. Sí. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like it that you smile when you talk about your job. That's cool. So you I enjoy like, it. I love it, my job. I love my job. I love my job. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. But isn't it exhausting for you? Um, que si es cansado para mí. Yep. Como digo algunos días sí. Some days. Some days. Oh, yeah. yeah, because um, in, in my case, I mean, uh, uh, I teach. Of course, I love teaching, but uh, today I've been working all afternoon, like uh, preparing a, a matrix for uh, for uploading information, for cross-referencing information. So I've been working a lot with Excel, different type of functions. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it really, really gets my attention. The only problem is that I don't feel the time pass by. No siento cuando pasa el tiempo. But when I stop, I feel the, uh -huh. the, the heat of the, of the tiredness. Does it um, happen to you too? Como digo, how do you say que como siento más desgaste cuando el asunto son el tratamiento de queja o, o de presión? Oh, of course. Eso es lo que me... Yeah, of course. You feel more exhausting when you are dealing mm -hmm. with complaints. No, in my case, it's just that uh, I love working on the computer, but sometimes, I mean, this thing, the, my problem is this. Uh, I go to have lunch and I'm thinking about it. Okay. And I stand up, stop looking at the machine, go do something else, but I'm still thinking about it. So mm -hmm. it keeps going around and around and around my mind. So I have the whole, the whole schematics in my head mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's just there like when i finish tonight i'm gonna i'm gonna do it again so okay. it's like i mean it's not as stressful but i become obsessive mm -hmm. yeah like vladimir says that he loves working with computers too yeah i can understand you well actually that's your area vladimir well it's interesting talking to you, Sonia. Thank you. Okay. Well. Yeah, Vladimir, but I'm working with Excel. I'm cross-referencing uh, data. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm getting information. I'm going to be getting cross-referencing 
uh, information so I can give daily, weekly, and monthly reports. Oh. And I'm For taking, statistics. Yeah, I'm making like an, a statistics, but from three, four, four different aspects, and I'm getting like uh, I'm. I need to be even as specific as males and females. So, oh, yeah. so it's becoming like, I mean, it started like a little box and right now I got like, uh, like in the same book, in the same Excel book, right now I'm for the first one, that is the trial. La prueba que estoy haciendo, for the first one, I already got uh, five different, uh, Formulas. Pages. Okay. Ah, pages. And ah, cheats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got cheats. I got five different cheats on the same book. So I'm going to cross reference all that information. So I'm, I got a lot of formulas in my head right now. Teacher, do you know that today the new goal of Osdara is data scientific? Scientific. Scientific, the people that works with a lot of data, like big data. Yeah, but you know, actually, I know that there are, I mean, I could work with access too. It's better for, for getting some of the information, but the problem is that I need to make it friendly for the people who's going to work with it. Ah, okay, that's, see, that's real. Yeah, so Excel is more friendly. I mean, it's something that they know. And I cannot get like too technical, like getting into HTML language because they won't understand anything. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's cool. I mean, it it brings back memories of when I was working with a, with a, me trae recuerdos cuando trabajaba with um, binary. Lotus trees. one, two, three. I used to work with uh, binary trees. Solía trabajar ah. binarios. Do you use in the past Lotus one, two, three? No, no, no. <laughs> I am from right after. Okay. I remember, I remember Lotus. I learned with Lotus, but I mean, I didn't get that much into it. Si lo recuerdo, yeah. aprendí con él, pero no me metí a él. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I learned that. I remember starting a computer with MS2. Recuerdo arrancar una máquina con MS2. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we are old. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. Let's see who else is around. Mauricio, hello, Mauricio. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are Good you, evening. mister? I'm fine. How was your day? Good. Very good. Okay, cool. That's nice. You go, you know, Sonia was like very happy because she had a lot of work. You are like, good, no problem. That's interesting. I like you. Guys. No, I, I have problem, but no, no, no big deal. I, no, me voy a dejar abrumaros. <laughs> okay, no big deal. Pero... Oh, I'm sorry. I just sent it to one person and it's like this no big deal no big deal and eh, tampoco la gran cosa i mean we have problems uh, that that i that we know that if we didn't solve them today we are going to solve them tomorrow uh, tenemos problemas que eh, no resolvamos ahora pero perhaps tomorrow yes mañana so, tomorrow um result okay that's cool that's nice that's nice so, yeah <laughs> okay yeah well we have to do our best effort okay we have My to do best our best effort. effort yeah that's always effort. important and tell me uh, what about traffic did you have problems with traffic today really no uh, no, not really, no really, no really, no really, no really, no really. Um, traffic fluid, fluid, fluid. Okay. Fluid. Um, I'm home. I'm home in six thirty. No, 
6 y 15. 6.15. Oh, that's cool. So, relax now. Really? Sí. Oh, yes. Cool. You know, this is a very interesting group. Este grupo es muy interesante. When one of this group tells me, oh, bad day, everybody is in the same mood. Here, today, everybody's like cool, easy, relaxed, no problem. This is a very interesting group. Este grupo es muy interesante. Lo dice por ayer. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, all of us, including me, were like, oh, what a day. Today, everybody's like cool, calm, no problem. That's nice. Because Hugo told me that he's tired, but good. Karen says that he's got good news, but mm, he's still processing. This is still processing. Sonia says that she loves her job. Walter says that he had a very interesting day today. And let's see, what about you, Susana? How was your day? Thank you, Mauricio. Hi. Well, it's um, not so good like them. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Why, a lot of work? No, I have a bad meeting. Oh. That's uh, always bad. Yes. And I, well, I, we waiting. Well, for new change. New changes. And uh, new changes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the way it is. As it talks. Yes. Yes. That's the way it is. Sometimes with the jobs, it's like that. There are good days, yes. bad days, and terrible days. Yes. <laughs> like today. Yeah. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal. And the yes. thing is that we have to adapt. We must. Okay, let me see. We must adapt. Okay. Or we also, I mean, it's very important to face day to day. It's important to enfrentarse al día a día. I mean, Right now I cannot worry for I can for whatever I cannot fix. No puedo preocuparme por lo que no puedo arreglar ahorita. That's correct. Yeah, and mean. then um, all happened so far. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a saying. Uh, there's a saying in English. Hay un dicho muy antiguo en inglés. Uh, you let's see, it's like this. You have to cross the bridge it goes something like this valgo como así when you get to it i mean i'm not i mean it's the gist the gist es como la idea you have to cross the bridge when you get to it cruzamos los puentes hasta que llegamos a ellos okay yeah that's the way well okay we'll yeah. see susana Let's hope everything goes well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank now, you. let's see. Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. How oh, are you? I'm fine. What about you? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Edwin? You're home. Yeah. Uh, my day off. Okay. It's your day off. So, you slept yeah. in, during the day? Yeah. How many hours did you sleep today? Four. Four hours. Four hours. Okay. Hours. Four hours. hours. Well, perhaps you can sleep more at night. Tal vez por la noche si duerme. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. I mean, working yeah, yeah. <laughs> day and night, I mean, changing shifts is hard. <laughs> Alternando shifts is hard, very hard. No acostumbra uno. Yeah. Well, it's it's hard. It's a little bit hard. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me, so what time did you get home today? You finished your shift at 7, right? 7 right. p.m. What yeah. time did you get home? Eh, pues, no voy a hablar en español porque no sé cómo decir todo esto. Okay. Pues... A las 11 entro a clases. 
Entonces me quedo un rato en el trabajo para llegar a las 11 a Metro Centro. Entro a clases, salgo a las 2 y media, 1 y después me vengo a descansar. Más o menos okay. a, entre 2 a 3 estoy viniendo a la casa. Ok. So you tell me that at 11 you start class. So you stay at your job to get to the university on time and you arrive home at 3. 2 or 3, depending on traffic. Ah, okay. Hold on just a second. Like this. This is what you told me, look. Well, at uh, 11, I start class. I stay at my job to get to the university on time. Then I ride home from around 2 or 3 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you slept from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At 7, you wake up around 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just woke up. Se acaba de despertar. That's cool. Sí, se puede decir. Oh, okay. And tell me, what's your study at the university? Pues, ahorita he agarrado contaduría. Accounting. Accounting. Oh, really? Look, really? Mr. Arana got happy because it's his yeah. experience. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Accounting. Wow. I think it's the one of the areas that I'm not like mm, that good at. How can I say it? <laughs> I mean, it's not that numbers are hard for me, but I don't think it's my thing. No es que los números me cuesten, pero no es lo mío. Well, thank you, Edwin. Thank you, teacher. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, very well. Um, a lot tired. You are tired? Why? What did you do today? Um, this day it start um, más temprano. Oh, earlier? <coughs> earlier? Earlier, uh, I meet um, uh, with clients. 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 Um, all the morning. Oh. And then uh, uh, all afternoon. Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Uh, replicando con uh, grupos de trabajo. Reply. No, 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 no. Es capacitando sobre Ay. lo que... Training. That's training. Oops. Training. Training. Yes. Training. Training, training oh. with... Um, your co-workers. What? Training your co-workers. Yes. Oh. Sí. Trainings are good, but they are exhausting. They are very exhausting. Cuando uno está yes. impartiendo el training, it's like, wow, it's tiresome. Yeah, being there, doing that. Ya me ha tocado. Yes. And are your groups small or big groups? And a small group. Oh, that's cool. That's cool because when you have small groups, I mean, you can like interact more directly and you can address the the specific doubt I don't know how to say address in Spanish no sé cómo se dice en español address uh, enfocarse contestar referirse something like that to the specific doubts yes i take all the time to explain there okay yeah yeah of course of course i mean I've been in small trainings and I have had to, to deal with big trainings and the big ones are terrible. I mean, I have worked with groups of 10, uh, of a hundred persons. Me ha tocado con 100 personas. 
<laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, just two hours, but it's like exhausting. Yes. Well, yes. nice talking to you, Evelyn. Um, nice talking to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, guys, I need to get the attendance. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Second, today we are February the 11th. Amparo Yajaira Melendez de Molina. Somewhere around. Okay, she's there. Antonia Elizabeth Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you, Amparo. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro Lopez. Here. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Indiana de Jesús Obando, absent. Indiana María Doña, absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. I saw her. Sandra Yanira. What happened? She disconnected. Perhaps she had a trouble. Okay. Uh, Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, let's see. I still have some people that I haven't greet. I will just say hi. Let's see. There's uh, Vanessa, Ivania, Mr. Arana. Just hello. Hello. I'm sorry, but we don't have that much time. And we have many activities. Okay. Uh, today, for today, before the greetings and the little conversation part that we have at the beginning, uh, today activities are, they vary. Some of you started sending me the homework, right? Algunos ya hicieron el homework. And that's good. That information, we are going to use it. That information, you are going to use it, okay? Esa información se va a utilizar. For the ones who did it already, it's one of the activities of the class is going to be easy. Para algunos que ya lo hicieron, hay una de las actividades de ahora que va a ser easy. For the rest of you, we'll have to make a bigger effort because you will make part of the homework here in the class. We will also analyze uh, time expressions. Yeah, no, prepositions. So on, in, at. Do you, did you check the presentation I sent you? Vieron la presentación que les envié? Yep. Some of you did. It's very short. I like to keep them short better. Okay. Es bueno mantener las cortas. And we are going to work a lot. And also we are going to have conversations. But let's start. Let's see. Let's see. First of all, when you have to do two homeworks working in your manual, page number 33, do you remember? From page 33, you have to work in the manual. So we are going to get the manual, get it ready. Vamos a trabajar con el manual, preparémoslo. And let's see. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Do you remember that we were, yesterday I assigned you this activity. You have to analyze Mrs. Robles' agenda. At 7.15, she's got a meeting with the marketing department. 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. 9, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. 12, workshops launch. 1.45, Second part of the workshop, 5.55. Send tomorrow's schedule to Ms. Lopez, new secretary, 
and leave. Okay, then you have to answer the questions. Let's see. What time is the video call with the West Company, Vladimir? It's at 8.30. Perfect. What time does the workshop with the research department start, uh, Edwin? It's at 9 a.m. A.m. Perfect. What time does the company close, Evelyn? Let's see. Evelyn, you got it? Sorry. It's a start at 9 o'clock. Perfect. Then we have the section, where do you work? How to use questions with what time? This is an expression that we already know. Esta es una expresión que ya conocemos. What time? What time is it? It's 1.08. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? At about 6.48 a.m. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay, now, this was also a homework for you. Complete the question with using what time and do or does. Now, let's see. Number one, Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla. Number one, please. Sí, teacher. There is recruit a new employ employees on Thursday. Ready. Does it start? What time? What time? Does. Does. Ay, me perdí. It start. What time it start. does it what time? start? Okay. It starts. Please. It start at 90. Nine am. Perfect. Just remember, Mauricio, there is a recruitment. 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 Okay. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Tuesday. Perfect. Thank you very much. And let's see. Let's see. Vanessa, number two. You got it, Vanessa. I think she didn't hear me. Okay, Ivania, you get number two. Um, todo. Yes, complete number two. <laughs> Let it meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Arrive, arrive at eight fifty p.m. Fifteen. 15. 15. Perfect. Thank you very much. Karen, number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time do you... Does. What time does... Uh, what time does the photocopy center open? It's open at 6 30. 50. 30. Ah, 50. 6 30. 6 50 a.m. Perfect. Thank you very much. Number four, Sandra Yanira Moreno. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do you does no what time do what time do you do uh, uh, listen 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 yes. what time do restaurants because uh, restaurants is the time, subject what time do restaurant close 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 here close here close here close here 
Oh, Aran. Así se pronuncia. Yes. Oh, Aran. 7.25 p.m. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sandra. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who is next. Uh, Mr. Arana, number five. Okay. Um, Amanda has today some reports to manage the department on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7 30 or 8 0, 0, 5. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Arana. Perfect. Just remember, Amanda has to take some reports. Reports. Now, listen up, guys. I'm going to read them. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh around 7.25 p.m. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05, 8.05. Now, I want to explain something. And it's this, look. What I want to explain is this. You got the number. Usually, this number is, we pronounce it zero. I have okay. a question. Yes. Um, and in the five? Uh huh. Because do, you know, does. In number five. Okay. Just give me a second. I will go back to it. Solo me da un segundo, regreso con ella, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Now, when we are talking math, cuando hablamos matemática, we say zero. When we are giving like a phone number or like the time, we say O, oh, O, oh. ¿ok? Uh -huh. Like my phone number is 702, ¿ok? If we are doing math, it's zero. Now, that's like uh, for everybody to remember. If we are talking mathematics, we say zero. zero. If we are saying like a phone number, stuff like that, we say O. Oh. That's why 805. Okay. My James Bond teacher, 007. Okay, yeah, 007. He's not 007, he's 007. Right. Now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What was your question, Miss uh, Sonia? Number five, right? Yes. What was the question? Because do uh, not does. Because the subject is they. Do you remember we use do for I do, you do, we do, they do. Now, I remember. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Now, something very, very interesting, guys, is here in number three. Look, the photocopy center. This is the subject. You see? What time is the WH question? Then the auxiliary, does. Why does? Because the photocopy center is just one. In number four, the subject is restaurants it's plural so in this case is do because we are talking about they what time do they close here 
what time do the re do restaurants close here? Okay. Any question about that? Preguntas con ellos? No. We cool. We clear. Perfect. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay. Now we have to work also with our schedule. Look, create your schedule with all the things that you have to do during the week, then go around the classroom. Okay, now, what are we going to do? What we are going to do is this exercise. Look, you will ask three classmates about their schedules, activities, specifying time and date. We are going to work in groups of three, okay? You are going to ask your classmate. Usually we have done this activity. We have done it many times. Ya hemos hecho esta actividad varias veces. But today we are going to include something else. And what is that something else? Y que es ese más que va, le vamos a incluir? We are going to include the date and the time. Okay? We are going to talk about the activities we do using the date and the time. So let me just take the pictures. If one of you got a problem checking out the manual, just to be sure that everybody's got it. And let's see. I'm going to create the group. Questions about the activity? No? Remember, we have done, yes? Can you repeat again, please? The activity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ask your classmates about three activities they do. Okay. But your class, you have to tell your classmates the date and the time. Like on Mondays at 10 a.m., I have breakfast. I have break time. Okay. On Tuesday at 2 p.m., I have meetings. Okay, any other question? No? Okay, let's do it. You will have exactly four minutes for this activity. So that means, well, no, we are gonna make it five. At, uh, let's see what time it was. At 8.50, we are going to be back here. So let's jump in. And Teacher. I have two uh, questions uh, of your activity. Laura. Yes. Can you hear me? What is this in the D? Así sería la pregunta. Sí. Um... Revisar correo sería re email review. Revisar review, sí. Next activity. Eh, ¿Cuándo y a qué horas? Ah, cabal eso. De 8, de 8, 8 o'clock. Uh, 8. 30. Check email. De 8 a 8.30. Sí. La pregunta sería, what time do you do? 
at 8 to 8 30. Oh, what time do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? What time do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? Uh, sorry. <laughs> what do you do in the morning? What time? No, what do you do, what Evelyn? What do you do in the morning? No, what time? What do you do in the morning? Logics, logics. Um, usually. Logistics. Logistics. Usually, um, usually around, around teacher is alrededor. Yep. Okay. Around. Usually around um, um, 10, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Uh huh. Here, um, and uh huh. Prepare report. Prepare report. Reports. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Prepare reports and um, um, 3 p.m. Come. Hello. At, at 3 p.m. At, at 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. From uh, uh, Thomas Caja Chica. Erika. Free cash, verdad? Yep. Um, from operation area. Free. Free cash. No, Perry. Como? Perry. Perry cash. Yes. Okay. Hold on. It's Perry. Pericash. Oops, double T. Double T. Okay. okay. Pericash. Pericash from operation area. 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 Okay, listen. Area. Area. Like that. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> area. Only. Same. Same. Uh, at uh, eight a.m. Okay, Sandra. 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 Hola. Tenía desactivado el micrófono. <laughs> Yo entendí que eran las actividades del trabajo, pero no sé, lo iba detallando por día. Sonia, no sé si estoy equivocada, chico. ¿Hola? Tres actividades de su trabajo. You can, you can say it per day, it's okay. Only no one Friday and one Wednesday, dije. Okay, one for Friday and one for Wednesday, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. And Friday. Okay. Um, Self-review. Four, 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 for three products. Perdón. Four de para. Four, ajá. Uh -huh. A cot. A cos. Cote. 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 Coat. For a coat. For three yeah. products. Yes. Four. So a three, three products. Three products. A three. Yes. Uh, email and reply. Emails and and reply. Uh, emails. Emails. See. Sí. Okay. To the eight. Eight. Um. um hey, compost que estoy pendiente de del email pues básicamente todo el día pero lo reviso a las primeras horas de 
Uh, los de que cayeron dos, cuando no estábamos, de los, los, que, los que cayeron cuando no estábamos pegados a la pantalla. ¿o? Sí, de, bueno, digamos de 8 a 9, que es que uno... Hace los reportes que caen cuando no está ahí. No. <ríe> sí, a mí, me cae, a mí me cae el reporte de, de los inventarios a las 9 de la noche, más o menos. 8 to 9. 8 to 9. The second, eh, the second, um, quiero ver cómo sería. El, uh, Hi, teacher. No escucha. Hey, pasó sanidad, se cortó el pelo. Uh, you're mute. No, nope, I just come. <laughs> no. Solo se peinó, dice. Ah, no sé, me imagino. That, that helps, eso ayuda. Uh, very sí. fin, compliance with sending information. Eh, ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? Tenemos tiempo para eh, enviar información como cumplimientos. Entonces, very fin, compliance. Ok, no, no, no. You have deadlines. Deadlines. What you got, what you got is this, look. Uh, we have deadlines to comply with, para, para qué me dijo que me tenían los... Yo verifico que hayamos cumplido es antes de esa línea. Llegar a los cumplimientos. Deadline, que okay, hayamos tú, eh, ejercido el cumplimiento. Que hayan, que hayan cumplido y qué. Goals. Eh, que la información la hayamos verificado antes de la deadline de la línea de límite del tiempo límite check it out we have deadlines to comply with the verification of info is that the idea es esa la idea eh, eh, verificar el cumplimiento de requerimientos antes de la Deadline. Okay. Tiempo límite. To verific the verification of, of, of the requirements. Then, no info, of the requirements. Verification of, of requirements. Requirements. Requirement. Sería before deadline. Yeah. Before the deadlines. Deadline. Deadline. Interesting. So what time? <clears throat> and uh, nine. Okay. Finish? Finish, teacher. Cool, because this went out of our hands, the time. Se nos fue el tiempo. But I had to give more because I realized when I was checking that you were working with some complex idea. Josie Vania, that she's asleep, but that's normal. Every day. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and Karen, that is like fixed today. It's like, yeah. like very fixed. Lo que pasa es que no lo puedo decir como Mauricio presente hasta mañana. Okay, you got a new job. Hmm. Yeah. Me cambiaron de área. Oh, but in the same company. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, Lo que pasa that's es que, cool. eh, si se fija, Vane dice de Isaac, yo digo de Isaac, Mauricio dice PDC. Okay. Porque hace poco nos compró otra empresa. Okay, so you go, you are going to change the razón social. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, I will text him. Yo le aviso a él. I will text him right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I gave a few more minutes because I realized that the activity was getting more complex, okay? So let's see who's going to start. 
Mm -hmm. Mauricio, you start. Tell me about one of your classmates. Oh, if you activate the microphone, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, my activity? No, activity? one of your classmates. Uno de sus compañeros. Uh, uh, Vladimir and Evelyn. Okay. Pick one. Escoja uno. Uh, Evelyn. Okay. Cool. Tell me. You tell me about Evelyn. Usted cuéntame de la Evelyn. Okay. Evelyn... You didn't write them? ¿No las escribió? No, no las escribí. Ok, tell me, yours. tell me yours. Tell me yours. Las mías. Ok. Eh, my activities... Eh, my first activities sería... Eh, review... Eh, emails. Review okay. email. De... Uh, Eight o'clock uh, at eight thirty. Okay. My second activity is um, review of missing inventory report. Okay. Bueno, son revisión de inventarios, quiebres de inventario. No sé cómo lo podemos decir de otra manera. No idea what you're talking about. No idea de qué se habla. Would you mind explaining to me? Please elaborate. Por favor, explíqueme eso. Quiebre de inventarios, lo que no se pudo vender porque no oh, había. What you couldn't sell because there was no existence. Hmm, interesting. An interesting concept. Well, thank you. Mauricio, check the chat. Will be. Sería. Sería. Will be. Will be. Sería. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, now, 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 now. Vladimir, tell me yours. Uh, I'm going to talk about Evelyn. Okay, tell me about Evelyn. Evelyn does in the morning. First, she checks emails and replies emails from 8 at 9 a.m. From Listen, from 8 to... At, at 2 at 9 a.m. Okay, listen, 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 Vladimir. Slow, slow down. From eight. Two. From eight to nine. Two, nine. Okay. From eight to nine. A second, verification of requirements before the deadlines. Okay. From nine to ten. And the last one is review services. From eleven to one o'clock p.m. Okay, excellent, thank you. A hard Evelyn. day for Evelyn. Nah, she's just like resting all day long. Evelyn, your turn, please. Well, um, bueno, in the activities, um, Vladimir, um, Art, um, the ten thirty. Um, he look information about cyber incidents. Okay. Um, in uh, fifty, uh, he prepared a report and um. Uh, For uh, he check uh, your email and re reply if necessary. Okay, look, prepares report and he checks Pre email, his email, not my email, his email. What's the name? Checks your email. <laughs> he doesn't mind, I hope. Espero que no revise. Yes. She, she believes that I'm a hacker. Yeah. <laughs> he works into computers, but not as hacking. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Evelyn. Okay, Hugo. Thank you. 
Come on, Hugo, you are like too quiet today. We're going to make you participate. Um, Sonia. Okay, tell me about Sonia. Sonia, Monday, 8 p.m. Follow up the emails. Um, Friday, 11 a.m. Meet work team to follow up classes, cases. 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 Uh -huh. Wednesday, 8 a.m. Review and authorities Petri cash from operation area. Okay, excellent. Authorize. Just remember, authorize. Okay. Listen, authorize. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much, Hugo. Interesting. Okay. Now, uh, Sonia. Hola. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, Sandra. Okay, tell me about Sandra. Sandra, the Monday. On 8, Monday. On Monday, 8 a.m. Um, she meeting with the supervisor. She meets. Me? Meets. She meets yes. with the supervisor. Exactly. Okay. Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. She have classification of clients to be by call. Okay. And Friday, 10 a.m. Check clients that they are the process. Okay. Now, listen, Sonia. Remember, you can say she meets or she has meetings. Okay? She has. Because meet can be a verb and can be a noun. But if you say just meet, is better. If, as a noun, is meeting. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sandra, okay. tell me about Hugo, please. Con Hugo no terminamos, y quiero solo lo oh, que tengo. Ok, yes, what you got, tell me. Ok. Hugo, on Monday, 10 a.m., prepare report of pilot. Ok. Just that? Solo es. Ok, ok, ok. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Just give me a second. Ok, perfect. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, guys, I need to get the attendance again. It's time. Amparo Yajaira, present. And Antonia Elizabeth is absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro, not here yet. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present, teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero. Present. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo. Present teacher. Indiana de Jesús Obando absent. Indiana María Doña absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Presente. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Oh, around. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher, sorry, I got my microphone up. Don't worry. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, Walter José Ruiz Ayala, your turn. Sorry, teacher. Okay. I call not to detectivity. Okay, yeah. We're out. Calling for Antigor was harassing. No Sorry. problem. No problem. No problem. Let's see, Mr. Arana, where are you? Right there. 
Do we need to show? Lisa. Um, Lisa. Ivania. Okay, Lisa. tell me about Ivania. Uh, she sent a Lisa. forward an email at eight o'clock. Okay. To be to begin the coordinary traffic transport traffic around uh, 10 o'clock. Perfect. And, pre and prepare report the Tuesday at three o'clock. Excellent, thank you. Ivania, your turn. Um, Walter, um, prepare balance chip usually around the start week. Okay. Um, Reconcile bank the Monday at eight o'clock. Okay. And pay bills on Tuesday at three, three o'clock. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Now for the rest of you, we are going to wait just a second. I need to show you something that is going to make us like uh, check our sentences. Vamos a ver algo que nos va a hacer revisar nuestras oraciones, okay? Okay, guys, do you remember this presentation that I sent to you? Okay, can you see it? Yes. Prepositions of time at, in, on. Now, this is very important. Remember, we use at for a precise time. At eight o'clock, at midnight, at seven. We use in when we are talking about months, years, centuries, and long periods of time. That's when you when we use in for months, years, centuries, and long periods of time. In January, in December, like my birthday is in December, okay? We use on for days and dates. Look, we use on for days and dates. Look at this, at, remember, precise time, in, months, years, decades, centuries, seasons. We use on for days and dates. Remember, do you know what is seasons? Seasons is like winter, Temporales. exactly, like winter, spring, summer, fall, those are seasons. Now, look, at three o'clock, in May on Sunday. At 10.30 a.m. in summer on Tuesdays. At noon in the summer on March 6. Okay, just give me a second. At dinner time in 1990 on 25 December 2010. At bedtime in the 90s on Christmas Day. At sunrise in the next century on Independence Day. At sunset in the ice age on my birthday. At the moment, in the past, in the future, on New Year's Eve. Look at the example, at, at three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment, in, in May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990, in the 90s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past, in the future. On, on Sundays, on Tuesdays, on 6 March, on 25 December 2010, on Christmas days, 
on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. Okay, now, before I get to more examples, I need to explain something. And we are going to do it using the board. Okay, and it's like this, look. My birthday is in December 17th, okay? My birthday is in December 17th. Now look Teacher, at this. Yes? What what type of number do you use when you say birthday? Ordinals or cardinals? Look at the example. Look at the example. That's okay. exactly what I'm explaining right now. My birthday is on 17 December. Okay, look. Oh, yes, I got it. You got it? Yes. And what I'm trying to point out here is this, okay? My birthday is in December 17th. Yes. Look at in here. Look at on here. Okay. Now, if you see, if I got the month, of course I say in. I say in December 17th. My birthday is on 17th December. It's the same idea. What changes that in the first one, I use first the month. Which one is used in English? Both. ¿Cuál se usa en inglés? Ambas. Okay. And what is the what is the more common? The first one. Well, ooh. what's the most common? If you're talk, if we are talking between adults, the first one. Si hablamos entre adultos, la primera. My birthday is in December the 17th. Okay. It, some people nowadays, young people, very young people, they say it both ways. Muchas personas jóvenes lo dicen both ways and no problem. Some young people even say this. Look, some young people will tell you, uh, my birthday is in... December 17, just like this. Okay, now something else. You will listen to some people saying, My birthday is in December the 17th. Now, this expression goes right here. You do not say it because this expression comes exactly. Here, look. You don't say it, but people use it. No la, I mean, no la decimos, no la escribimos, pero sí la decimos. Okay? We say it, but we do not write it. My birthday is in December the 17th. Now, that's something that just uh, adults say. Eso es algo que los adultos dicen. Somebody who's above 35. 35, who speaks, uh, somebody who's speaking formally, alguien que habla muy formal, will use it like that. My birthday is in December the 17th, okay? Informally, people will say, oh, my birthday is in December 17th. That's informal. It's like the expression I was telling you, uh, an expression that I was using yesterday. Do you remember yesterday I was explaining the WH question? What is the meaning of why? ¿Cuándo usamos why? Do you remember, guys? WH, why? We have why. Why is por qué, right? Then uh, we have the other expression that is how come? Now, the second one is informal American English, okay? Informal American English, right? 
el how come es why, pero es un inglés informal, solo de Estados Unidos. That expression is mostly used for Americans. Esa la utilizan americanos. And so, if you learn English from an American, of course, y si está aprendiendo inglés de un norteamericano, you will use it. How come? If not, you are going to say all the time, why? But that's very informal. Okay? And the same happens with this. Informally, you say, oh, my birthday is on December, uh, my birthday is in December 17th. Informal. Formal. My birthday is in December the 17th. Okay? 17th. Don't worry that the numbers, you will see them soon. Los números esos los van a ver pronto. Okay? Don't worry, don't worry. You will work with them. Okay. Questions about on, in, at? Preguntas? No, by the moment. For me, I don't know. What about you oh. guys? The rest? Do you want to watch it again? Lo vemos de nuevo? Yes, please. So we can analyze it? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Look, we are talking about this. Remember, we use at when we are being specific, the precise time. Like, uh, like Evelyn says, oh, I have a meeting at 3 o'clock. At three o'clock, she's being specific with the time. Okay. Uh, like uh, Karen says that she she always always wakes up at sunrise. She wakes up at sunrise. Okay, and. Let's see, in, we use in with months, years, decades, centuries. In May, in summer, summer, verano. In the summer, what's the difference of in summer and in the summer? Okay, what's the difference? Okay. Uh, Vladimir, tell me, do you remember when you met your wife? ¿Te recuerda cuando conocí a tu esposa? Yes. Ok. ¿Was it uh, summer or winter? Uh, summer. Okay. February 1998. Ok. Listen. He says, I met my wife in summer. Ok. If he wants to be more specific, I met, I met my wife in the summer of 1998. You see? That's the difference. Summer. If you say in the summer, it's because you are going to be specific with the year. Ah. To specify the okay. year. I met my wife in the summer of, of 1998. Perfect. Excellent. Let's continue. A long time ago. Uh, Okay, look, in 1990, in the 1990s, this one refers to the decade, when we say in the 1990s, or you can just say in the 90s. Like, uh, I can tell you, let's see, uh, Mauricio, when were you born? Tell me. Uh, in? In, in, in? The year, the year, the year. 1979. Ok. You were born in the 70s. In the 70s. Mm -hmm. okay. You were born in the 70s. Like me. I was born in the 70s. Right? I am referring to the whole decade. La década, o sea. Exactly. How do we do that? We add to the number the S. Ok. To the decade, we add the S. I was born in 1979. In my case, I was born in 1979. 1979. So I was born in the 70s. In the 1970s. In the 80s. Okay. In the 80s, in the 90s. 90s. Like that. In the 2000s. In the 2000s. Yep. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mauricio. Like, uh, Hugo, when were you born? Which year? Noventas. Okay. In the 90s. In the 90s. Okay, you tell, you are telling me like this. I was born in the 1990s. Look. In the 90s. The 1990s or in the 90s. Now okay. let's continue. Any question about this? No? We cool? Perfect. Let's continue. Now, in the next century, because we use it for centuries, that's seal. In the ice age, in the ice age, in the past or in the future. Now, we use on, we say with days and dates. That's easy. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on March the 6th, I'm sorry, in March the 6th or on 6th March on 25 December, on Christmas Day, because this is a specific day, on Christmas Day, on Independence, Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. Do you know what is Eve? That's a... Uh, January 1st? Vispera, no. Oh. That's Eve, the Vispera, okay? Like Christmas Eve is the night of the 24th, right? La víspera de Navidad es la noche del 24. And Noche Buena in Spanish. Yeah. That's Christmas Eve. Okay, because it's the period right before. Ese periodo exactamente antes. Now, checking out. I need you to do this exercise. Quiero que hagamos un ejercicio. You wrote your sentences, right? Your activities in, from the previous exercise. Escribimos la actividad del ejercicio anterior, right? Now, let's check them using this. Veamos si utilizamos bien esto. At, in, on. I'll give you some seconds just to check. Just circle or mark or check the mistakes. Solamente marquemos donde hay errores. Remember, before the time, always at. If you are saying the day, you say on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Okay, we are going to check it later. Let's check some examples. Let's look at these examples. Let's see, let's see. Mr. Ruiz, please read the first sentence. I had a meeting at night. I, I am. Thank you. Meeting, meeting. Evelyn, next is yours. The shop closes at midnight. Closes, closes, closes. Close. The shop closes at midnight. Perfect. Next one, Edwin. Jane went home at lunch time. Lunch time. Hugo, next is yours. In England, it often snow in December. Okay, perfect, Hugo. Just remember, often, often. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Susana. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Okay, listen, Susana. Jupiter. 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 Future. 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 Karen. There shall be a lot for the progress in the next century. 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 Perfect. And let's see. Sandra. Do you work on Mondays? Perfect. 
next one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Mr. Arana. Her birthday is on 20 November. Perfect. Sonia. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, look at these questions. When were you born? What time do you start working? When is your mother's birthday? Okay, these questions you are going to ask your classmates. So be ready with that information because you need to give it to your classmates. Okay. When were you born? What time do you start working? When is your mother's birthday? Okay, and let's do this fast. Let me see. I'm going to recreate all groups. Let's start. Jump in, please. But this. Who is there? Um, I am. Okay. You ask. Ask me. And when were you born? When were you born? When were you born? Um, I was born. Yo nací, vea. Entonces dice, ¿cuándo fue que tú naciste? Yeah. I, I born. I was born. I was born. Um. In um, on twenty four April, um, nineteen seven five. Okay. On. On. Okay. Eight, eight o'clock. Me confundí con la pregunta. Es, es what time do you start working? Start, iniciar, comenzar. Sandra, hello. Uh, hola, tuve problemas y no sé por qué no entraba el grupo. Ok, no problem. Where, when were you born? My... I was born. I was born. Teacher. Hello, Mr. Solo. Gracias. Who, who left you alone? Ah, era solo. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. No. The thing is, really? is that you are with Amparo and Vanessa and they couldn't connect. Me dejó solo. Go, go, Se go. Le go. go to the next group. Ya lo mandé a otro grupo. Check it out. 
No, no me aparece nada. Leave room, me voy. Dios. <ríe> ya terminé de todas formas. Leave... No. Me, Leave apare... me parece que lo he enviado a la sala 4. No, no me ha aparecido ningún cuadrito. Eh, Six o'clock en seven. 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 seven o'clock. At 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 seven. Ajá, at seven o'clock. Ajá, at seven o'clock. Me at seven o'clock. Ivania. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At eight. At eight. Uh, o'clock. Uh, 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 eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, Mauricio. Mauricio, where did you go? La primera pregunta. When were you I was born? I, I, I was born on March 30. In March 15. In. Sure. No. El mes In. Primero. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, born no es en no es la década. década. No es década. What? Born. Nacido. Born. ¿verdad? Nacido. Nacido. Es la fecha de nacimiento, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Oh. Okay. I was born. Quiere decir yo nací. In this case. Uh, I was okay. born. In I this was case, born. In. In. The month. Mari. El mes. March. In March, mo, in March, in March, March, La última, ¿cómo es la pregunta? Bueno. What is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is um, April. In April. In April. Si va a decir solo el mes, in. In, ok. Mes, ajá. Uh -huh. In a world. Okay. April, the heart, huh? Yeah. Okay. April. Hugo? Okay. Uh huh. When were you born? In the 90s, 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 error. In the 90s. 90s. In the 90s. Just remember, I was born. I was born in the 90s. Wow, in the 90s. Okay. What year? Huh? Which year? Which year, Hugo? In Kenya. 1990, what? 1993. 1993. Wow, I was in ninth grade. grado. My gosh. You are young. <laughs> Qué joven. <laughs> you are young. Okay, yeah. yeah, I was in ninth grade. I was 13 years old. 
tenía 13. I was yeah. a kid at that time. You oh. were like, what? How old are you, Sonia? You are 30 something, right? 39. 39? So you were like. 40, uh, 15, uh, in February 15. Ooh, like this close. Mm -hmm. Three days. Okay. Oh, on Sunday? No, Monday. El, el mon the Monday. Monday. Oh, that's cool. Be, come to class. Okay. Come to class. Come to class. Claro. Okay, guys. In 60 okay. seconds. Okay, well, what time do you start working? I start at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. And when is the On 25 Me falta el dato de, de Karen y de Sandra. Yeah. O sea, the last one. Eh, Karen. Here mom. Okay, here mom. Karen is. Mother birthday is. 19. 19 December. 19 December. Ah, okay. Y Sandra. 30, okay, okay. 13 February. 13 February. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to come back. Let's see, let's see, they still got some seconds, 20 seconds. There they come. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops, is you? Oh yeah, Evelyn have problems with the connection. Who else am I missing? Hmm. Don't remember. Okay, let's see, let's see, guys. Okay, Vladimir. Hello. Please ask the questions to Edwin. Ask Edwin, please. Okay, Edwin. Yeah. When were you born? I was born is in January 11. What time do you start working? I do at 7 a.m. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in October 13. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Both of you. Edwin, That's please my... ask uh, Hugo. Hugo, when were you born? Um, I was in uh, 19s. Okay, next question. What time do you start working? Um, I start working. At Eight o'clock. Okay. Perfect. I start working at eight o'clock. Okay. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in April. Okay. Thanks, Hugo. Hugo, please ask Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi. When were you born? I I was born in 
1994. Okay. What time what time do you start working? 8 a.m. Perdón. I start work at 8 a.m. Okay. Perfect. When is your mother's birthday? Your birthday is on 90 December. 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, I heard 90. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hugo. Karen, please ask uh, Sandra. Okay. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Karen. When were you born? I was born in 1990. Okay. What time do you start working? I start working at 8 a.m. Okay. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday, 13 February. Okay. My mother's birthday is on it's 13 on February. February. Okay. Remember, Karen? Mothers, mothers, mothers. Apostrophe S. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Sandra, please ask Ivania. Hi, Ivania. Hi, Sandra. When were you born? I was born in November 7, 99. What time do you start working? Uh, I start working at 8 o'clock. When is your mother's birthday? My my mother's birthday is 24 September. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ivania, you are going to ask Mr. Ruiz. Okay. What the, when were you born? I was born in the 80s. And what time do you start working? I start to work at 7 30 a.m. And when is your mother's birthday? My first birthday is on 21 April. April 21. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Vania. Remember, Walter, if you say, April 21, in April 21. If you say on 21 April, it's different, right? Okay. If you say on the number. If you say in the month, okay? Walter, please ask, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ask Susana. Susana. Hi, Walter. When, when were you born? I was born in 1983. What time do you start working? I start working at 8 a.m. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on 25 June. Okay, thanks. Okay, Susana. Hey, Walter. 1983. I 19. Susana, 19, please ask Mr. Arana. Okay, Mr. Arana. Hello. Hi, Susan. Hello. When were you born, Walter? I was born in July 6. July. Sorry, July 6. Okay. What time do you start working? I start working at 8 o'clock. When is your mother's birthday? Uh, my mother's birthday in January 3. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Susana. Walter, please ask Mauricio. 
Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Walter. When were you born, Mauricio? I was born in March 13. Okay. What time do you start working, Mauricio? I start work at 8 a.m. Okay. When is your mother's birthday, Mauricio? My mother's birthday in April 8. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, please ask Vladimir. Okay. Vladimir. Hello. When were you born? I was born in 1974. What time do you start working? I start work at 8.30 a.m. When is your mother's birthday? Oh, my mother's birthday is on 27 March. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect, Mauricio. Excellent pronunciation. Great. Let's see, that's it. Nobody's missing. No me falta nadie. Mm. Sonia, you did it? Sonia. Vladimir, ask Sonia, please. Okay. Hi, Sonia. Hi. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. I lost the, the PPT. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I lost. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in, in the 90s, 80s. What time do you start working? I, I start working at 8 a.m. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on 8 February. Perfect. Thank Thanks. you. Well, guys, I admire you all. You remember your mom's birthday. That's great. Los admiro que se acuerdan del cumpleaños de mamá. I don't. I don't remember my mom's. I don't remember my father's. I don't remember my brother's. And I just remember one of my sister's birthdays. I'm not good at dates. I suck at dates. Yo soy pésimo con las fechas. Okay, great, excellent. Now, che, yes. Me. Where are you from? Really, really, where are you from? I don't know, man. I don't know. My man is Latino. Low. Los Latinos recordamos las fechas de todos nuestros familiares, casi. I don't. Yes. I don't. I don't even remember my wife. Que no sé la de mi esposo. <laughs> I don't. It's just that. That is dangerous, teacher. Uh, no, my mom reminds me. Mi madre me recuerda. También Facebook. You know, you know what? Until, until, uh, let's see, until five, six, seven, the first six years after the marriage, los primeros seis años después de la boda, my mom reminded me the anniversary. She was in charge of reminding me the anniversary because I always forget. And I even forget to check out in the ring. Se me olvida revisar hasta en el anillo. Con que no preguntara, ay, me casé. Yeah. What do you say, Karen? Qué buena esposa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very, well, no, she's not patient. But, I mean, I'm like that. I, I'm not good at dates. I suck at dates. I mean, and special dates, I uh, I never remember. I don't remember when Mother's Day, I don't know. Well, believe me, I don't even remember when Teacher's Day. So I'm not good at dates. Hey, guys, we've been doing an excellent job in the pronunciation. It was perfect. If you noticed, my corrections were very few and very specific. Si se dieron cuenta, las correcciones han sido bien pocas y bien específicas. Now, let's do a small exercise. Hugo, hello, Hugo. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. 
and tell me, Hugo, uh, where do you work? Um, where do you work? The what's the name of your company? Is CLT. Okay. And which department are you in? I in fleet control. Okay. Float control. Float or fleet? Float flota. Float. Fleet. 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 Fleet, fleet control. control. Okay. Tell me what time do you check in? Look at me, check in. When you put your finger, your hand, your sign. What time do you start working? Eight o'clock. Okay, at what time do you finish working? Uh, five o'clock. Okay, perfect. Tell me, where do you live? I live in in Armenia, Sonsonate. Okay. What's your last name, Hugo? My last name is Arevalo. Okay, perfect. And tell me, Hugo, who do you live with? Who do you live? Look at me, Hugo. I live with my son and my wife. Who do you live with? I live with my father, um, my mother, and my sister. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Hugo. Okay, teacher. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania, hello, Ivania, how are you? Hi, teacher. Tell me, Ivania, uh, where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Okay, Ivani, I'm sorry. I know that girls don't like this question. How old are you? Um, 30, 30 years old. Okay, what's your last name, Ivani? My last name is Rodriguez. Okay, would you mind spelling Rodriguez for me, please? Pardon? Excuse me. Would you spell Rodriguez for me, please? Permit. Yeah, they killed the dog. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. We need to wait for Ivania because this is very, very important. Perdón. Okay, Ivania. Would you spell <laughs> Your last name, please. Last name. Yes. Would you spell Rodriguez? Uh, Rodriguez. Yes. Spell it. R. Que, o sea, que, que, que dicte todo yes. la... Yes. Oh. Spelling. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Espérame, It's R. O. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much, Ivania. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me, Sonia, where do you live? I'm living, I live in San Salvador. And where do you work? I work in Gea, El Salvador. Okay, tell me, Sonia, yeah. how old is your mother? Uh, my mother old, Sonia. My mother is? My mother is um, 66 years old. Okay, thank you. What's your mom's name? Uh, her name is Anna. Okay, excellent. 
and tell me, where does your mom live? In San Jacinto. Oh, perfect. Tell me, Sonia, uh, what's your position in the co in your company? Operation manager. I am oh. operation manager. Okay, what's the department? Operation. Okay, thank you very much. What's the name of the company? Gea del Salvador. Okay, and what do they do? ¿Qué hago? The company. ¿Qué hace? Yep. Um, how do you say presta o brinda servicio de asistencia? Provides. Provides services. Uh, provides services. Thank you very much. Sonia, okay. now let's see. I need one more person, and this is going to be Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. How are you? Very fine, teacher. Okay, tell me, Walter, uh, where, where do you live? I live in Armenia. Okay, and where do you work? I, uh, I work on um, CLT. Okay, CLT. what do you do in your company? Uh, my position is. GPS monitoring. Okay. And tell me, what's your schedule? My schedule, I check in 7.30 a.m. I And finish? Finish 5 o'clock. Okay. Run and run. And tell me, do you work on weekends? Mm, Saturdays, middle day. Okay. Half, half the day. Yeah. Until noon. What? Until noon. Until 12. Close. Shut out. On Saturdays from 8 to 12 or from 7 to 12. Ah, uh, 7.30 at uh, finish, uh, shut out at uh, 12. Okay. Excellent. Tell me, Walter, please, what's your last name? My last, my last name is Ruiz. Would you mind spelling Ruiz for me? Uh, is R U E C I Z Z I I, I C. Okay, thank you, Hugo, Ivania, Sony, and Walter. Uh, this was an oral test for you. Este fue un examen oral que acaban de tener. Oh, by the way, surprise. Por cierto, sorpresa. Okay. Don't worry, you did good. You did good. Sonia ni se dio cuenta que estaba en examen. She says it was so easy. Right, Sonia? She's not even, she doesn't realize yet. Sonia, hello. Hello. I was just telling you that you just had an oral exam. Le acabo de avisar que acaba de tener un examen oral. Ah, yeah. qué bueno. Me distrajeron mis hijos. Okay, that's good. L listen up, guys. This is not something to worry about. Esto no es para que se preocupen. Randomly, I will do these questions like in the following one or two classes, en las próximas dos clases, voy a estar haciendo pequeñas evaluaciones así to check out the real advance, okay? To check out the real advance on the topics seen in the class. En los temas vistos en clase. If you notice, everything I asked you was from the classes, okay? Because I want to see for next week, necesito ver para la próxima semana, which topic do I need to reinforce? ¿Qué temas necesito eh, reforzar, reenfatizar, okay? So, next week, well, tomorrow, be ready, some of you, algunos de ustedes listos, okay? Because some others of you will have your, your small we are going to have a short conversation, one, two minutes. If you notice, the, 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 the development was pretty good. Uh, el desarrollo de ustedes fue muy bueno. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure for me to be with you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody.